This is just fine. Blisters. Okay, I've got enough grain. How about you, Antony? Plenty. Let's head back to town. Wait! What, 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 what do you mean? My, my basket's nowhere near full. Well, if you'd stop eating, maybe you'd have a little left for everyone else in Bugglesville. Stop, stop eating? And how exactly do you expect me to keep my strength up? Oh, great. Now my back is killing me. It has been many years since the Lord had brought the people of Israel out of Egypt. And in that time, they have strayed from worshiping the one true God. They now suffer under the harsh control of the Midianites, leaving true followers, such as Gideon, to question God's purpose. <clears throat> Pardon me, Lord. It is I, Gideon. Why are we being treated this way? Uh, not that I'm complaining, but where are all the miracles we've been promised? This is the story of Gideon and the Midianites. Hello? Hello, Gideon. Don't worry. Your people will be saved from the Midianites by a mighty warrior. Oh, finally, some good news. Who is this brave leader? Why, Gideon, that warrior is you. Are you sure you have the right person? <laughs> of course I'm sure. Didn't you just ask for a miracle? Yes, but do I have to be part of it? Yes, a very important part of it. I would double check this if I were you. If it's proof you want, go to your camp. Bring some meat and unleavened bread back here. That's it? Uh, bring, uh, meat and, 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 and... And unleavened bread. Yeah, okay, got it. Uh, hey, you two, wait up, would ya? <laughs> oh! Look! <laughs> no! B back there! Don't go! Go, go around! Slow down, Webster. Yeah, we can't understand. We can't understand a thing you're saying. When is that guy gonna stop being afraid of his own shadow? Ah! And where do you think you're going? This path belongs to Sickle. Yes, yes, it does. To Sickle. If you hope to pass. You must give Sickle all of the food you have. Yes. Now look here, we have as much right as you to use this... <laughs> Antony! Oh, no, please don't hurt him. Uh, you're <coughs> squeezing me. Here you are, just as you asked. Place it all here, on this rock. What? <gasps> ah! Ah! Sickle's eyes! <laughs> ah! Ah! Stop! Sickle hasn't told you to go yet! <laughs> now that's what I call a miracle. I... I believe what you have told me, but how am I going to save my people from the Midianites? The Israelites have turned away from the one true God and have built an altar dedicated to false gods. Gideon, you are to destroy this false altar. Uh, but if the others caught me, they'd... And in its place, build a new altar and make a sacrifice to the Lord. I'll do it. Absolutely everything the angel told me. But I'll just wait until it gets dark. I, I wouldn't want to upset anyone. I don't know, is this thing that I was so big? I was so big. Please, please, so please, you're babbling so I can't understand a word that you're saying. 
Now, will just one of you tell me what's happened, please? It was horrible, Mayor Green. We were just minding our own business, you know, bringing food back to town. <laughs> and then, uh, we came upon this, this... Scorpion! Wow, how did you know? Well, looky, looky here. You trespassers didn't think you'd get away from Sickle that easily, did you? Hmm? Hey, that's my house! Hmm, is it? Good. Everyone, uh, grab baskets and bowls. Uh, we must save our food. Nobody move. It's not yours any longer. It belongs to Sickle. Uh, 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 now, see here, my uh, good fellow. Uh, this is our town, and while we would gladly share our food with you, uh, we... Uh... Save your breath, Mayor Green. There's only one way to take care of this bully. No! Uh, is it over yet? As far as Sickle is concerned, this is only the beginning. Now, this is Sickle's town. And you'll all do as Sickle says. Well, don't just stand there, Fura. Let's get this over with. Gladly, Master. Shh! Not so loud. You want to get us into trouble? <laughs> Quickly now, let's return before we're discovered. <laughs> and keep it quiet out there. must do something to stop this, this monster. And I mean whatever it takes. Shh. Don't listen to Roderick. Violence never solves anything. It makes things worse. For once, I totally agree with Roderick. You do? Shh. No, no, Antony. And I volunteer to come up with a totally new invention that will utterly destroy Sickle. And you're just the ant to do it, Antony. Yay! Yay! Shh! Yay! You wait and see, Megan. This is the only way to handle this creep. Megan, what are you looking at? Mayor Green's house. Funny how Sickle has every light on inside there. Uh, what did you say, Antony? Just wait and see what I come up with to get rid of this guy. When I get through with him, he'll be sorry he ever came to Bugglesville. Megan, everyone's counting on me here. It was Gideon! I saw him and his servant destroy the altar to our beloved Bale! Confess! 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 He should die! If Gideon is to be punished, then it should come from Bale himself. If Bale really is a god, let him speak for himself. Have him proclaim that my son is guilty, and then we shall punish him. What say you, mighty Bale? Is Gideon guilty of this crime or not? Well, it seems Bale has nothing to say on the matter. 
So we mere mortals should do nothing. Let's go home, all of us. Joash, Gideon, the Midianites have been joined by the Amalekites, and now their camp is twice as large as it was yesterday. Something must be done. There's already a plan, Father. An angel came to me and said that I am to lead our people into victory against the Midianites. Can you believe it? Oh, fantastic, my son. Tell me, how exactly will you conduct this victory? I haven't the faintest idea. Megan, Wally, please stand back. I've never fired this thing before. <clears throat> Ready? Antony, you're not thinking this through. What if this crazy contraption works? Aim? And you make Sickle even madder than he is right now. There's no telling what he might do. Not if this stops him once and for all. Fire! Uh, you mean, ready, aim, run! Ah! See what I mean? Violence only leads to more violence. No, that's not oh, my only idea for getting rid of that monster. When are they going to learn? Nah, search me. <laughs> yeah, that, l learn what, Megan? Your weapon master. No, I just can't be the right person for this. But you heard it from an angel sent by God himself. You know, another miracle about now wouldn't hurt. Farah, give me your sheepskin. God, tomorrow morning, if this sheepskin is wet with dew, but the ground around it is dry, then I will definitely know that I should lead my people into battle against the Midianites. This is the opportune moment. Said target approacheth. Please reconsider this, Spud. The negatory calculations have been made and all systems are go for engaging the aforementioned enemy. But what if your plan doesn't work? You'll be in a terrible spot. Sorry, but there's no more time for idle banner. It's time to proceed. Uh, excuse me. Cease your forward movement. <laughs> Out of Sickle's way, you puny excuse for a bug. Commands, Operation Squish Scorpion. <laughs> Secondary unit, proceed. And now, vanquished one, I shall dispatch you with my own coup de gras. Did you see that? Nope. My fingers were in the way. You three, just wait! The sticker will take care of you tomorrow! Yes. Know what, Wally? I think we've just learned something very important about that scorpion. Yes, definitely, absolutely, uh, Megan, what is that that, that we learned? Father, the sheepskin is wet, but the ground is dry. Then you have your sign. You have been chosen to lead our people against the Midianites. Yeah, well, you, you know, it probably wouldn't hurt to test this thing one more time. I mean, look at me. A warrior? A leader? <sighs> Gideon, why can't you just have faith in what you've been told? Yeah, really, just one more test. God, this time let the ground be wet with dew and the sheepskin be left perfectly dry. It's dry. The sheepskin is dry. God has delivered a third miracle. I will lead you all to fight against the Midianites.
Dax, now that he's taking his daily nap, we can take matters into our own hands. No, you go hit sickle over the head. M -m 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 me But won't that disturb his sleeping? Remember, we must protect property and honor. is going to have to teach you a lesson. <laughs> no, not my building! Gideon, you have gathered too many fighters. But look how many Midianites there are. How can there be too many of us? If you win, they might boast that the Midianites were defeated because there were so many men, and not by me. I will take care of Israel. Reduce the number of men. But how can I do that? First, ask all of those who are fearful of battle to leave. We are now ready for battle, O oh Lord. Gideon, you don't even need this many. Huh? Yes, reduce your army by even more men. Have the men drink from the river. See those men who kneel and use their hands to cup the water into their mouths? They will be part of my mighty army? No, have them go home. There may be only 300 of us left, but we will attack the Midianites and be victorious! Yay! I hope. Gideon, if you still need more proof of your ability to lead, Sneak into the Midianite camp. There you will find the courage to begin the fight. Okay, Megan, you win. How can we get rid of Sickle? Yes, yes, without resorting to pugilistic posturing or violence. I have an idea. And I think it just might work. I had a terrible dream last night. A wheel of barley wheat tumbled through our camp and overturned all of our tents. Barley wheat? That's what I've been threshing for weeks now. What does it mean? Your dream warns that Gideon, son of Joash, will sweep through our camp and destroy us all. God is giving the Israelites a victory over Midian. Do you need to hear more, Master? Come, Farah. It's time to attack. I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but at night, Sickle keeps every candle and lamp lit in Mayor Green's house. And don't forget about the cave. Right. Yesterday, Sickle wouldn't step foot into the dark. And this is all leading to... To the fact that Sickle must be afraid of the dark. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Big Bad Sickle is afraid of the dark. So what? So we could use our brains against him instead of rocks and sticks and ropes. And frighten him away from Bugglesville without hurting him. Very interesting. And very stupid. All right, anyone have any good ideas? Uh, not so fast, Roderick. I ascertain that this might be the proper redress. Meaning she just might have a good idea. Indubitably. What do you think, Antony? Well, nothing we've done so far has worked. It's worth a try. Do the soldiers have the lanterns for us? Yes, Master, and their trumpets as well. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke, Gideon? Why should we replace our swords with these? God himself told me how to attack the Midianites. Split up into three equal groups and take positions around the Midian camp. Then wait for my signal and do exactly as I have told you. Now move quietly. Ready, everyone? One, two, three! Come out, sickle! We're waiting for you! 
Gotta hand it to you. That's really using your brains. After their tremendous victory over the Midianites, the Israelites wanted Gideon to lead them, but he refused, saying that God was to be their only ruler. 